Hello everyone, in this video, I want to talk about uh, Sublime Active Tool. First, uh, let's find the Sublime Active Tool. It's in the Modify panel here. Click the Modify. We're going to see here. Active Sublime. You see the Sublime Active Tool. You can also go to Command Window, type in Sublime Active. And now we are going to see the splend to here. Splend engine two is applying to the sublime. First, let's use the sublime for sublime, right? So we have the sublime two here. This is the sublime feed. Let's draw a sublime. I just uh, do it randomly. Our shape, our shape, okay, enter. So this is the sublime that I made. So let's go and activate the sublime edit tool here. Now look at command window. I'm going to select sublime here. Select it. Now we have the option. Let's try to do the first one. Close. Look at the screen right now. The plan closed. The door is open. Right now I can click, click the open. Right now it's open. We can also use the join. If the spline right is closed but without joining together. We can use this option. Let's go to the feed data. So we have different option. Let's try to add. Click it. Let's go here. Let's go here. And go here. We're going to add the right add point. Extend to the spline. Okay, right click. And now I want to stop here. Right click again. So let's try close. Okay, so the line closed. And now I want to keep it open. Delete. Okay. Specify the existing point. On the line, I want to delete this one. Delete this one. Delete this one. Okay. So I want to stop here. Right click. Let us try the king option. Click it. Give it a point here. Give it a point here. This one from here, we are going to add more, add more point for the sublime fitting. Okay, on the stop, stop it here. Right click, and then try to move. Okay, and now we can move it. Right, move it here. Move, move it this way, and move it this way. Okay. I just don't want to exist. Okay, we also have other tool, but I want to stop here. So let's do exist. Let's try this one. Edit vertex. Click, click it. Okay, we'll see that. We have different options. We can also do add, delete. It's the same to before. So I want to do elevate order. Click it. So before the order is four. Right now I want to change it to six. Having six. Hit enter. 
can see that the font changed. Okay, let's go like this. And then let's do this one. Convert to polar. Okay. So now we see that this is a new polyline. We can specify the position. Let's say point fifteen. Okay. We see that we have a, we have a new polyline. Thank you very much for your watching.